So we're wanting to consolidate the um, be more forward kind of attitude for our games based off of the learning of the recent friendly games over the board. Let's see if we can start putting it into practice way before, you know, the tournament comes up. And I think the final, well, the finalized the date, which is, is now in it's more, maybe a month, maybe a month and a half's time. But the venue is still not clear, but we think it's obvious that it's going to be uh, one of the chess centres. This person doesn't look like they're starting. So at least that's given us a bit of time to get that out of the way. That's annoying. Right, let's crack on. So we want to try and practice being more forward, not in terms of like going in there and attacking everything, but it's a changing mindset as to when I feel like I'm going backwards, that really, we, or playing defense nanny, um, that we need to do something about it. Well, is this the same person? What is going on here? That's not right, is it? Just letting the time run out. What the, what is going on? Usually that happens when you've whoops, whooped somebody and they're just, all right, okay. So let's um, attack the nut pawn here. We could take, I would class it as a poison uh, because the knight's then dancing around all over the place. So we may hit this pawn. I'm actually just going to go simple and defend. So I'm falling back into my, but there's nothing wrong with what we do in terms of like the opening bit. It's then what we do from that point on. And we tend to kind of sit defense nanny type thing and lose tempo, lose position. And then our pieces are going backwards. We're going to try and avoid that today. So they get the 20 pointer because our king can't go and castle, but that's not a problem for us. We're, we're okay with that. So now they're defending the pawn here. We could develop our bishop out just to get it into the game. But the key thing for me is knowing that our king can't castle. So I want to get my pieces developed, maybe get this knight here. Well, sorry, sorry, not there. There, push this pawn, get the king here. That's my target point anyway. So we're going to bring the knight through, defending the pawn whilst we're trying to fashion this... Um, Aspect. We can always bring this bishop out and do something on this side and keep the king here. So it's attacking the bishop, so it's going to double our pawns. In this occasion, do I worry about doubling the pawns? Not really, because we've had our king disheveled. So do we just continue with the pawn push here and just take the knight off the board? So at least we've got a plan. Yeah, I'm not feeling like I'm going backwards or be playing defense nanny. So we'll move the king like we said. If we get time, get the rook here. So get the rook here, and then we've basically castled virtually. So now let's have a look at the rest of the position. We could attack their bishop, which is acting like a pawn. So it doesn't really want to do that. But at least the knight is protecting the pawn. That's probably what they're thinking. So we've got a piece under attack. If we then go and attack another piece, is that going to work for us? Probably not, because they're just going to simply take. If we take, their bishop is looking to put a check on our king and manage this square. So I'm actually going to bring the bishop in, supporting the pawn. So it's developing a piece as well. It's a positive. It's going forward. So I like that logic. We do have a check on their king, but I'm just saving that. Let's just keep everything as tight as possible. Let's stick with nice basic chess. We don't need to overextend. Now he's protecting this area, but he's also attacking this pawn. Our king could come all the way here, and then we're in the castle's position. And then we're happy. Yep, let's bring the king back. On this occasion, I'm okay bringing the king back because it's defending. But now the king feels comfortable in my eyes anyway. So we could go and attack the bishop. They would class that as their bad bishop. So if we did take, it's like a good knight for a bad bishop. I think they'll be... Oh, they're not. Attacking our pawn, we can take. 
does the rook come into the game? Is it going to waste its time coming all the way down there? Simple capture would work, I think, because I'm not going to bring the rook just to defend this. So we were back into this occasion here, attacking the bishop. Does the bishop take? Probably not, because it's just going to keep this angle here. We could hit the bishop, but we'd lose the pawn. We could attack their bishop with our bishop and then end up with... And I think that's probably the better one, isn't it? It's more proactive. It's in the face. If you don't do anything, maybe if the king comes and defends, maybe the rook comes to defend. Yeah, trying to improve their position on the board. In any event, it's a more positive motion on the board. It's not playing defence nanny. So fairly happy with the movements at the minute. Getting happier with my rationale. It's really hard to change your natural process of playing um, chess. Yeah, they brought the rook to defend. Does the picture change at all? And yeah, this rook's going to be here owning the file. Got the pawn. Can bring our rook supporting. Don't really want to play defense now, though, do I? So let's rethink it. We don't have to take, but I think we should. I think we should. Let's take and let's be positive and let's attack. But if we go rushing to attack, it takes the pawn, doesn't it? So let's bring the rook here. Obviously, he's going to double the rooks on this side. Is there anything else? No, he's not doing that. So let's attack the bishops here. Positive activity. It's forward motion. It's not all forward motion is good, but it's it helps to reframe my, my thought processes about the game rather than thinking let's block this off and block that off and still trying to look on our back end obviously our blind spots it's not giving the bishop up i thought it would have given up the bad bishop for a good good night but he's not so now they're trying to use the power of the bishop somehow to disturb again is there a positive we could attack their knight obviously this pawn is then going to be in the center which probably is a positive I think that's a good one because it is attacking their rook as well. So the knight is going to take, pawn will take, and I think the bishop then will go come here attacking the rook, looking to own the fire, the diagonal. So it's a bit annoying, but we can go here, and then we can try and see it off a bit. So I think the knight is jumping here. I don't see a problem with that. Anything else? that knight could come here but that's no good could, could go there but that's no good i think jumping the knight in here again forward motion yeah we did quite a bit of calculation there trying to cover off as many blind spots as possible but we're trying to turn things into positives as well so he's taken with the bishop We've got a fork here if they forget themselves which would be really ideal for us in terms of the forward motion that we're wanting to practice would be really ideal but i think they're going to do that we attack him and he's just going to take take so his knight's going to escape winning the te tempo in terms of grabbing the pawn so he's not done that he's moved himself off of the fork he's supporting the pawn that's going to be pushing down if we hit this knight now it's got kind of free reign could dance all over the place it's not going to go there because the knight will take but we are further advancing the pawn up the board then we can hit their rook and further advancing the pawn up again. So forward motion seems to be working for us at this moment in time. It depends. I don't think they're doing that. They might bring it here. This is forward for them. But they're not doing that. So we go forward, like we said, and attack the rook. We'll go forward again, attack the pawn. It's going to try and double up on this pawn here. Do we still continue with the pawn push? Yes. And do we take with the rook or the knight? Because the knight is forward attacking and attacking. It's attacking two pieces. They're going to get away with getting our pawn. And we can't take this because the knight is there. Well, they're not because I can defend. That feels like it's going backwards. I don't think there's anything else. Knight could come here, but he gets the pawn. 
How do we play this? I think we just defend the pawn. Just defend the pawn. It doesn't look like we're... Oh, we've lost the pawn. Oh. We were defending our pawn. Narration mode took over. Oh. Could have just gone like this. It's all right seeing it now. Yeah, could have just gone like this. Would have been defending the pawn. Now he's thinking, is that a poison pawn or what? Do we have a fork? There's no fork. Bit of dancing, but that's not going to do anything. Oh, that's a shame. Just gave up a pawn then. I was working so nicely with the forward motion. And then a sideways motion has just knocked me for six. Yeah. Oh, that's not... Ah, that's a damn shame. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh. Let's bring the knight back. So now we're coming backwards. And look look what happens when we go backwards. Oh, we're going to struggle finding our feet now. Feel it in my water already. Oh, shocking. There. Let's get one of his rooks off the board. Oh, no, I thought his rook was here. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Oh, dear me. Let's hit him again. Oh, that's scandalous. Let's hit him again. We can get go here like this. We mentioned that ages ago. Come on, come and attack us. That'll be a nice one if they do. Oh, they have as well. They have as well. Fantastic. Oh, we totally messed it up. We're trying to come back. But he's got a knight and he's moving quick. So he obviously knows what he's doing. Idea is to potentially come and attack this pawn. But he's just going to drop it and the knight's protecting here. And then we're chasing the knight around. Don't really want to do that. Don't really want to do that. This pawn's going to get advanced up the board. Do we just go opposite their pawn? He's got a pawn majority. King's going to come down and support. Not looking too hefty for us, really. Let's attack the pawn anyway. It gives them something to think about. Forward motion. Don't get carried away with narration mode. Oh, shocking. So we still ended up in some type of... Oh, we're going to hit the knight. Doesn't have a check on our king, which I'm thankful for. I was just going to say, we still ended up in some type of positive position, even though we made an error um, from that last rook move. So we're hitting the knight, trying to get the pawn. Doesn't mean we've won anything. Now his knight's got this funky position here. If his rook's looking to try and do something, but he has to get down here. So we'll take the pawn. And we can take again. I've not really see. It's not got. Four. He's got a fork. A lot of fork. He's got the king, but not. If we take, then he's hitting our rook. Yep. Then his rook's going to come across, putting a check on us. Yep. And then we can come here, but his knight does have a check on our on us. I think we'll just hide here. And they're moving quick, so yeah, they're looking to try and finish something. It's like they've got a plan, they're moving quick. I am going to hit the rook. He's not going to exchange, probably here, to come down here. Because if we go like this, it's checkmate, so that's what they're looking for, this big checkmate movement. So shall we just push the pawn up, giving the king some space? We're on two minutes now. And they're still moving fast. Shall we move this out of the way, just attacking the knight? Or has he got some sort of funky business going on? Nope, no, no, no. So he's looking to snap pawns up because he wants this pawn to get past. 
and I think the knight's just going to take this pawn so it looks like we're going to have to try and do something here the knight's moved it's attacking us we could just attack the knight has he got a fork mm, no Rook comes down to put a check to win a tempo so the knight can move doesn't do that let's bring this rook here now attacking the knight twice knight does have a check on our king oh they didn't take advantage of that i think that was, was our winner he would have got the rook and rook so the knight moves let's push knight moves puts a check on our rook maybe push Oh no, they're not playing ball. Let's hit the rook. Has he got a fork? Nope. Two minutes, plenty of time. Just trying to savor this moment now. I know they do have a pass pawn. I don't think they're exchanging because, you know, the pawn's just going way up there. No, they're not exchanging. We can push, but he comes and puts a check on our king. Just to be flash. Now, this knight. No checks on us. No checks. No, definitely no checks. Thank you. Right. We hit this knight. Got a check. I feel like moving that. Time's running out. I feel like moving this. I don't think there's a fork apart from a check here. Oh, I totally forgot all about that. Oh, dear me. Shame. Right in front of my face. What a waste. What a waste of a game. This is a waste of a game. <clears throat> all the pieces i've lost we were winning this looks like it's just a draw now in fact they win they're winning they've got three pawns we've only got two how has that happened yay 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 um but this is i think there's a in between bit you know what that i'm trying to get to don't want to overly attack because it leaves you weak and i don't want to overly under the under attack because it leaves you weak i, I want to get that middle ground whereby okay I'm, I'm attacking but then i'm also focusing on not going backwards too much but making sure the forward motion has got some backup so I'm not really falling foul and I'm not making erroneous moves that weakens me, such as in this game here. Okay, practicing the forward motion as best possible. A subliminal forward motion, just not feeling like I'm going backwards at all in any way, shape, and that the actual activity feels like it's it's going forward rather than um being defense nanny and just having to think for think that the opponent is constantly in a better type position than what i'm in um i'm not a fan of that type of situation so i'm actually going to bring the bishop back here i know i've moved it twice but you know there's no hard and fast rules really in chess always for the b pawn I'm going to bring the queen here 
because that's obvious it looks obvious to me anyway and we're going to attack the knight but if we attack the knight then it don't make a difference does it because his knight's going to take his queen got support so is there anything better that we can do so it looks like we're going to be down a pawn from this weird looking exchange that's gone on all because of the queen move and the bishop coming back i think isn't it yeah backward motions when the what <laughs> what have we just said we want to practice the forward motion and I'm naturally bringing my bishop back. It's going to take a while for me to get into it. So we're losing the pawn. And the knight's going to be on our queen. Oh. Shocking. Oh. You saw it right here. That one backward move has just finished the game off. Ay, 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 ay. So we'll capture knight... Ca Oh, knight's not captured. They've got two pieces on there, so they've missed the tempo or they're looking to really improve their position. So I'm going to take the pawn to get it out of the equation. Oh, that's why they've done that. There's me thinking it's all sewn up. And then he's going to get like a... He's just got the pawn back, it looks like. Doesn't look like it's really kind of improved their position yet. Or maybe it has now that it's coming for our queen. Hmm. So the knight's got, oh, the knight's got a check on our king. So he can get our queen if we stay on the dark square. Interesting times. Oh, there's not many places to move, is there? Go for the b-pawn. Always for the b-pawn. Yep. Okay, let's go for the b-pawn and the and the d pawn so even stevens at the minute queen's all trapped in here and can't go for the b pawn king's protecting and the d pawn is protected by such and such but the problem they have is our bishop is supported by our queen i don't think it can go here knight can take it can't go here because the queen will take it and they've resigned so backward motion worked for us in this occasion because the the opponent overextended but that's not what we want to be doing we don't want to be playing like that and but we've got lucky in this particular game okay let's knuckle down forward motion it's best possible let's attack this pawn Let's grab the pawn. Going to take the knight. We're used to it. Going to bring the bishop because we're used to this position like this. Doesn't cause us any issues. But we have to change at a certain point, don't we? Because we don't want to be playing defense nanny. Which that starter of this knight is defending the pawn. Which is like defense nanny. And this is very similar to one of the earlier games where we... We're in this position and we're focused on um, this pawn and saying X, Y, and Z. And the evaluation said, bring the queen here. Now, this is something that I'm not really used to doing, but I'm going to bring the queen here just based off of the evaluation that we had recently. Because the queen's protecting here, but we're still going to have the double pawn situation if this pawn does go. But at this moment, the knight's not going to be taken. So we could go on castle, or we could just bring the bishop here, but we don't need to rush to do that. So I'm actually going to castle. So what do we want to do from this point on? I mean, there's the cheapy, but that's a little bit later on because he's just chomping at the bit to actually take the, take the knight. So let's hit the bishop, see what it really wants to do. And it doesn't actually want to take. So I'm going to hit the bishop now, put the bishop. Looks like he wants to dance. Does he come here? Does he bring it all the way back? It's going for the exchange with the queen situation. Interesting. So we could hit both of them with this knight forward motion. And we've got two pieces on there. If the bishop does take, we take the queen. But the bishop takes the knight. So it's like a bishop and a knight for a queen. They could use that psychology.
Okay, so they've given us it. So the bishop could come here and attack the rook, but I'm envisaging that the pawn's just going to come here. So I think it's more flexible with the knight taken and keeping the bishop here. For now, anyway. So I think we'll take with the knight. We do have escaped squares, as we mentioned. Yes, yeah, so that pawn was always going to drop. Just looking to see if there's anything else, but I think we're coming back. But I don't want to block our bishop. So the bishop needs to have space here. So if we come this way, just to give our space, if we have to come back, which it probably looks like we might have to pawn takes things here. Okay, so they're attacking the knight and we're not going to go here. We can come round the back or we can come here to come here. Let's stay away from trying to block our white square bishop. Now the bishop's got quite a few angles to move from. So my brain's instantly thinking, go back, go back, go back now. So we can hit the pawn. We've got like a few pieces on there. I think what we'll do is go forward with the pawn and hit the pawn whilst their pieces are looking to try and work together. So they do take, do we take with the knight or the bishop? Take with the bishop seems appropriate. Knight really looks like it wants to do something. I think the bishop better. Let's go with the bishop. So still constantly thinking of forward, forward, forward. It's attacking our rook. Where do we go? Opposite their queen. For a starter. Yeah, let's go opposite the queen. I know there's a pawn in front, but psychologically, if everything kicks off, you never know. So we could push our pawn, but it is blocking our bishop. So we could just attack their bishop. Forward motion. Probably not going to attack. Maybe they're looking to try and... X-ray through to the queen, yep, yeah. okay. And could bring the rook across, but this pawn's gonna have no protection. Queen's gonna come shooting straight down. X-ray through to the rook. Knight. Knight's not doing anything there, so let's stop that one. Knight probably looking to come here, but my queen is not in the game. If we come here, we know the knight's just going to come and attack the queen. And that might be a waste, might it? And plus also, he's got two pieces on this pawn. So we can't really do that. White square bishop looks like it's chomping to do something. What is the forward motion? A pawn push. That's what it looks like, but owning this file looks good as well. This pawn's got no protection. Hmm. Let's bring the rook here. That looks more forward than anything. Although case in point, in one of the last games, um, bringing the rook across, we messed up, didn't we? Got a power base here, we've got layers there. So we're gonna try and look to reduce down because we do have more material on the board in terms of we have an extra bishop. We have to try and box a bit clever. Rook's moved, it's attacking the pawn. So is he looking for the, the queen's not going there. The queen's not going there. Um, da, 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 so. Again, just to keep avoid looking at this knight move. That's no good. Come on, find the forward motion. Push, push, but then. Let's push and then the bishop can sit on this pawn. Let's hit the bishop. So we're looking to trade, but they're probably not interested in trading. Give space for the knights. Maybe doubling. Ooh, gonna take, because we're interested in trading. So he's gonna get the pawn here. 
Um, but for position play, for... Uh, ooh. I was just going to say for position play, we were going to, if he takes, then we can jump up, but his queen's going to be there. And I thought the bishop was still going to be there, be able to attack the queen, but he snapped the bishop up. But we're still up a bishop, which is interesting. Yep, so we need to now really forward motion it rather than defense nanny it. We can't defend this pawn. Because he's got he's got two pieces on there. Could bring the rook up, but then the rook takes. And if the rook takes, then we can come here. Put a check on. Yep. So I'm gonna bring the rook up here and see if there's any cleverness. Rook takes, we go here, check on the king. Knight can come into block because obviously the queen's protecting. But it does feel like a nice position-ish. It's blocking already. All right. Well, not blocking already, but we can't go there now. Right. So, space for the queen. Space for the queen. I don't think we're going to do that one. It looks a bit slow. Space for the queen attacking the knight area. I think we're going to get back ranked knights here boom 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 forward 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 knight up can't really attack this the queen's there so the rook's going to take the rook's going to have no support and then if we did that his knight's already there so we can't go there right quick quick time's running out What is the magic? Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Is it just moving the rook back? Mm, backwards, no, 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 no. Come on. Queen opposite the king. Queen opposite the king, let's go with that. Rook's obviously taken, we're just going to bring the rook back because it's just going to get hit. That's no good. So it just goes like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we have to bring the rook back. Positive backward motion, maybe. coming for the queen interesting I thought they would have just gone for the rook alright so let's see what can we do can't squeeze in anywhere really drop here but it's on the dark square do we stay on the white square it's not much doing with that really is the I think I'm going to have to change track but I can't defend the pawn so he's going to get the pawn anyway blocking my bishop yeah, I think he wants me to go into a dark square it's got a two on one on this pawn though don't forget with the queen and the knight right I need to move swifter Pawn's going, rook's coming down. It's got a little cluster in the centre. Do we just come back? Don't want to come back. Okay, time's running out. Um, I don't know. I don't think they're going for a draw. They're making it look like they're going for a draw. They'll take. Let's just bring the queen here. They, they look like they're going for a draw. Why? Why? Well, I'm going to click the draw button then, but that's not a draw. Oh, I'm winning. What did I miss? H3. Oh, pushing the pawns. I don't know. don't know why that's a good move, but. That's just like a massive waiting move, isn't it? 
And then does he not just take the pawn like we said? And it is saying rook b1. Look at that, but it's not got a check on. So that's, oh, it's going backwards. Sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking, oh, going here. No, it's saying go backwards. So we're okay. We're okay. We played enough waiting moves. We kind of felt there wasn't anything clear to attack. So we played positive movements, but we were winning. So we should have done this H3 thing, which I am never seeing. Well, <laughs> what does that do? Doesn't do anything in my mental roller decks. Nice game. Okay, let's crack on. We're still in the going forward mo um, motion session. Mm, going forward. I treat this as my bad bishop, so let's get it out of the way. There we go. And let's just hit this pawn in the center. Going forward, let's attack. And let's attack. Yeah, nice forward motion. Feel like there's activity going on for me. Could bring the queen here. But then obviously the pawns is going to drop. So I'm actually just put a check on the king. Simple potatoes. But I bet you any money to bring the bishop here instead of the queen. Whoa, they haven't done. Okay, let's take. Let's attack this pawn. It's got no protection at the minute. Again, forward motion. And let's just develop the knight because it is forward motion. Looking to try and attack here. So the bishops come stopping the um, castling aspect. But we're just going to continue with the forward motion because we can queenside castle. So the king's going to have to stay there now to protect the bishop or the bishop's going to have to move somewhere. And it does move back and it's protecting the pawn. Castling on the queen side. And they're moving quick so it looks like they want to get rid of our dark square bishop. Let's push. And four. Let's push towards the king now. Stacking the pawn. Let's just support the pawn. Still going forward. Might have to come back when we do get attacked, but you know, it's not it's not being silly with it, you know. It's um, so it's attacking our knight. Is it doing anything else? Pawn can take, or the rook can take. Then he's owning the file. But is he owning it like outright? Let's see what they do. Does take take with the pawn or take with the rook? I'm going to take with the pawn. So the bishop's going to move to challenge the rook. Let's go for attacking the rook. It's bishops of same colour. Alright, alright. So we're just going to take. And um, we'll come here with the king. Looking to see if there's an exchange going. That's where bishop, we can take it. Only problem, you know, there's a problem with that, right? Yeah, so if I did bring my rook here, you know, say he does a non-move, like move the king or something, and I move my king rook here. I think there's a cleverness thing. I've seen this done. Whereby, go here. Then his bishop comes here with a check on the king. So the king takes, but the king is far away. Then the rook gets the um, rook for free. So I don't think I want to wear them apples. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to you, Bishop, and see what you want to do. He's probably still keeping that diagonal. Or at least we might be able to get the attack on their rook. So it looks like lots of for positive forward motions we've made in the game. Some would say it looks like a draw, but I don't really care. It's positive motions in the game. You know, we're trying to practice this forward. Oh, he's not having it. He's not having us have this. Okay. Right. Definitely could be a draw then, couldn't it? We can come here. But then he can also... Well, he can't do much really, can he? He can, can come here and attack our king if we went up. It's also attacking this pawn. We could push. I don't think that's going to make much difference in terms. Just push this pawn while they're thinking, or is there something I'm missing? 
starts pushing. Oh, and they've resigned. Why are they resigned? Nobody's winning. Got no patience. Let's have a look. Ooh, slight edge to us. Feeling good, feeling good. Slight edge. H5. All these H moves. <laughs> All these H moves. Yeah, we were looking maybe at just doing this just to tide it over. Wonder if that was would that cause us some heartache. Ah, oh, draw. Yeah, okay, so we'll probably resign ourselves to a draw on that one. What are they doing? H5, it's saying. The key thing was this H5 blocking that advancement of the pawn. Interesting times. Okay, let's just get some practice in. Let's try and utilize all the stuff we've been working on. And shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Yes. That feels okay. Let's develop the knights. Get the bishop forward. And let's castle. What can be menacing about that? Let's x ray through. Menacing bishops forward. Let's take this off the board. Do we lose momentum? I don't think so at this moment. We do now because the bishop has to move backwards or to the side and too advanced up the board is going to get hit. No good. Moving backwards could put it to the position that it always ends up in anyway when I'm doing my openings. Or oh, could just keep that diagonal there. It's just that it is blocking this pawn. Not really a fan of that. Let's bring the bishop here. We're used to the bishop being here. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. Got a nice x-ray through to their queen if they forget themselves. Let's develop the knight going forward. Doesn't like that x-ray at all. Could bring the bishop acting as a pawn. Could act it as a pawn. Don't think we're a fan of doing this anymore. In this type of position. Just gets locked in. No point. Shall we just bring it. We could bring it here. I'm going to act it as a pawn. I don't think there's a problem acting it as a pawn. If they want to sacrifice their knights. Well use their knights against our bad bishop. I'm a fan. Alright okay. So knight's got nice space. But it's not really hitting anything. Rook's just saying, well, let's just get into the game. Let me in. Let me in. They're moving fast. Doesn't mean they're doing the right moves, though. It means that they've probably got some sort of tactic going on. And we don't like tactics. Always for the B-pawn. Why not? Seeing as everyone else does. Let's go with the queen. Not that I would take, because the rook can quite easily come here and just get this pawn. So I don't really know why they've gone undefended, but never mind. So we've got, they've got three, two pieces protecting. We've got two pieces attacking that pawn. And Bishop could come here and attack the knight. Something to do. Nothing clear. Bring the rook opposite the queen. It is a open file in a sense. So... Let's start motivating this file and see what can happen. For forward motion yet again. Let's motivate the, the file. Let's get the knight in there. Queen's come off of the line. Knight can't come here now. Well, it could, and we'd get the queen for free. So if they take, then we get the queen for free. But they're not falling for them apples. So we're going to have to move the knight. Can't go here because the queen is protecting. And they're coming for our bad bishop. So we're, we don't have a problem with that at all. So let's just give them something to say, yes, come and get it. And maybe the rook can own the file. Ish. 
No, it's not taking our bad bishop. Right, we might be able to make that bad bishop good if they're not wanting to take. Okay. A lot of dancing with the knight. What are they planning? So are we looking for simple doubling here with the rooks, seeing as nothing's happening? Or is he dancing in here, looking to get the queen? Let's see if we can get away with the simple doubling of the rooks. Yeah, he is jumping in there. Just boom. See you later. Right. So the pawn's going to be on the queen. And we can move the queen here. Queen's going to get hit with the pawn. And we can't take because their dark square bishop is defending. Yep, okay. So this pawn's going to be hitting. No, it's not doing. Let's bring the rook here. They're moving quick. They feel like they've got something worked out. I'm very cagey. This has got to be happening. No, okay. Let's push this pawn. Just to not stop that, but to meet it if it does. So they can do this. It's taking. Bishop can take. Get the rooks off the board. Yeah, let's attacking loads of pieces all over the place and looks like that knight's going to be going if they take no it's not going now so plus two out of that exchange at the minute we do have a discovery on their queen but they're not letting us have that so we have to take with the queen i think we're going to lose the knight i think it's the rook come and attack Knight's protecting our queen, so I suppose the knight can move, but it's where it moves. What am I falling for? Takes, bishop takes. Got to check on the king. Okay, I think we can do that, can't we? Let's take. Put a check on the king. Oh, but the bishop goes in front, doesn't it? Oh, ugly. Ugly. Then we put a check on the king, but then he comes to safety. Put a check on the king. Bring it back again with a check on the king. Knight's protecting the queen. What does the knight do? Where's it going? That just stay there forever. It can just keep going up and down. That would be another draw. Maybe this knight gets into activity. It's just that our... Shall we hit the queen king from here? And get this knight moved out of the way? Or should we just go here? Put the check here. There's not much in there at all. It's just going back there. The knight's not getting a check on. Don't forget this knight's got no protection. Bring the queen here, protecting the knight. Different position. Uh, how different, how different, how different. This knight can't move. Everything's jammed in. Could come here. But does the queen get down the back? Uh, if we go up there, then his queen could come here. Queen can come there. We can put a check on the king. Don't think that's much though, is it? Let's go here. He's coming there. Check on the king. That'll be checkmate. No, almost checkmate. Because he won't be able to go here because the knight's protecting that area. He'd have to come down. Then, yeah, that would be mate. So we're waiting for the queen to come here. Oh, they're not doing that. Um, okay, now I've got to think. I've got to think. This is not clear. We'd have to try and get to here, but even then, that's not even a win. That's not even a win. Could get the queen off the board. It's got a poor majority on this side. Maybe I should have fought that through. Oh, let's take. 
It happens. And we got lucky again. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah.